Hey, just want to jump in here at the start and remind you guys, if you're watching this and you're enjoying this 55, which I think a lot of you guys are, remember to subscribe and uh, keep commenting and liking the videos. And that really helps us out and helps us grow and get, you know, gets this build out there for more people to see and enjoy. So let's get on with this video. All right. Welcome back for more gas or stuff. Uh, I know I talked about making a little brace for the uh, back portion of this hood. So got us a piece here I'm gonna use. Go from that hole to that hole. And I'll get the thing marked, drilled, and get my uh, nut certs in it first, and then we'll shape it up and make it pretty after we make it fit. All right, guys, got my holes drilled. They seem to line up. So I'm gonna get my uh, nut certs popped in here. Uh, be sure it lines up and fits, and then what we'll probably do is uh, cut these edges, radius them a little bit, and pretty this thing up and get it painted. All right, got our nut certs in, kind of cleaned up the edges just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go through and drill some speed holes in it. Not like really anyone's gonna see it, but hey, why not make it cool while you're there? All right, as you can tell, I kind of got the front end propped up here. Uh, I got my little brace in. Uh, I had to use some little bit these ended up not being long enough, so found some other 1024s I had. And yes, I know they're not the blackheads, but they soon will be blackheads. But we got it in there. Ended up not filming, drilling any of the holes because it was a, a nightmare with a couple of my old worn out step bits. I got to get some new ones. But here it is all mocked up in there at the back. See if we can zoom in on it a little bit. Pretty happy with it. Holes turned out nice. Does its job. I'll give uh, give you guys a closer look at it whenever I uh, get it out and get it painted. But so far, so good. Seems like it's doing what I wanted it to. All right, my dad picked up some spacers just for test fitting purposes. So we could see kind of where we want the back wheels because with the new rear end that we're getting, we shouldn't have to run, you know, any spacers and whatnot. So kind of give you guys a little look at, at where we got the back wheel fitment now. It looks pretty good about where we want it. And I'll probably have to, we'll probably have to arch the quarter wells just a little bit more. Just give them, just radius them just, just about another Oh, three quarters of an inch, maybe. So not not too bad. So just got a little bit of poke. Pretty happy with it. So now that just gives us a good idea of where we want it to be. almost out to my parents house and we're gonna pick us up the engine so we can get it back and get it ready for the uh, test fit process so we're getting getting pretty close just gotta track down the transmission that we want and uh, we'll be ready to start mocking stuff up but first we got to get this engine out there and get that all done because it's gonna take take a little process to get this thing out so it's behind a car got to swap some engine stands around and whatnot so let's get to it tell there at the end of the time lapse we kind of came to a stop 
uh, our engine hoist took a dump. The hydraulic cylinder quit pumping right as we about got it high enough to get in the truck. So we're going to have to get another one of those and continue this on another day. So that sucks. We couldn't get that over there, but it is what it is. Things happen. So we'll move on and tackle something next. Here's a progress shot on the grill. Let me get out of the... He's got almost all the center pieces done now. Just a few of the little thin slats left. All right, we got the uh, hitch and the, both the rear bumper brackets. So we're gonna get these cleaned up so we can get them in paint. So probably hit you with a time lapse here and get her done. there in Michigan that made it and then it's for a Chevrolet and it looks like this says 1955 so it's probably like a tri-5 bumper or you know, actually maybe a 55 only bumper bracket because you can see it pretty clearly especially in person it says 1955 Chevrolet so that's pretty neat but uh, I can see it looks like someone tried to do some cutting or whatever so you can see where the this piece mates against that. It's got a cut where someone tried to cut the welds. So I'm actually going to uh, run a weld across here and then probably up this side for one to make it look a little bit nicer and just add some more uh, strength. Picking back up on the bumper brackets and hitch. I uh, got the hitch all cleaned up down here, ready for some black paint. Um, def I think I mentioned someone did some modifications to this thing, so we're not gonna install it right away. We're gonna kinda figure out if how this person has this thing is gonna even work out, or if we need to cut it back apart and take it back to how it originally was. And then got the other bumper brackets. This is for the passenger side. Got a little tweak down there at the end off the bend back out. But I got the other one over on the wire wheel and we're gonna get it cleaned up so we can get all this stuff in paint. So we can get the bumper over here cause he's all done polishing it up. So we should be ready to install that pretty soon. All right, they're all finished up. You can see they're pitted pretty bad, but after wire wheeling them and cleaning them up and getting them in some semi-gloss black, they turned out pretty good. So they're just about dry, so we should be able to get this thing tossed on here pretty soon. All right, we got the bumper over here. He got done all polishing it up and got some new hardware for it. So set up a little time lapse here and uh, we're gonna get this thing thrown on. this thing pretty good the brackets ended up being kind of bent and tweaked so it took some fighting to get her to line up pretty good but uh, it ended up working out uh, we don't have the little bushings that go in between here the spacers so we're just waiting on those to come in but it uh turned out pretty good looks right at home guys that's gonna do it for this video sorry it wasn't much of an exciting one but don't worry we'll be getting some parts coming soon and hopefully we get the uh, new ram for our engine hoist so we can get the engine over here for mock-up as you can tell that was a failed attempt so no big deal um, but hopefully in the next one we'll be getting the spacers for the bumper so we can get that finished up and put the other brackets on that I painted in this video 
and uh, get the engine over here in the next one. So stay tuned for that one and we'll see you guys in the next video.